I had my very good friend from Belle Chev Creamery to come join me. Her name is Tashia Malakasis. Hello. Hello. Thank Chef you for giving me a hug. Oh, good. You know, in the South, we hug. We do hug. Okay, so this is amazing goat cheese. I'm not just saying that because she's here, but this is really good. Thank you. And the other thing about cheese, because we all like cheese in America, right? We do. But this is a good cheese. It's good for you. This is good for you. Let's talk about that. Most people don't know that, but, but goat's milk is one of the healthiest milks that you can have. It's right. closest to our, our human mother's milk, right? right? So it's, it's not only easy for you to digest, it's actually good for your digestive system. Right. Also, goat's milk products are lower in fat and they're low in calories. They're higher in protein and they're lower in lactose. So people who have lactose intolerance problems can enjoy goat's milk too. And, and it, it tastes good. And it <laughs> tastes good. I beat you to good. it. Yes, it does. Okay, so to make this frittata, now yes. frittata is an egg-based dish. So to get started, I have a little canola oil. We have some Georgia shrimp. These look beautiful. These are, are like 16, pretty. 20. We cut them in half. We have some fresh spinach, some basil, Yum. some fresh tomato, a little ancho, and then the goat cheese, a little bit of shallot, and some salt. So the first thing we want to do, we're starting this in the skillet. And this is, this is all done in one pan. So you can go ahead and put some canola oil in there. We'll start that up. And did you know that I make a frittata for my son? Well, I knew that. I was going to ask morning. you about that. Yeah. Really? So in fact, this weekend, I made him two. He ate one, and then he asked for another one. And what'd you put in it? Well, I do cheese, and I'll do whatever I have in my pantry, or okay. actually whatever I have in my leftover in my refrigerator goes in it. So I had some roasted chicken. So chicken went in it, of course, goat cheese, and I think a little onion. But I don't tell him about the onion. Right. And, yeah. that's, and so that's a very good point. So the point is, when you have leftovers, you can put it in your frittata. All right, and, and so I do. let's season right. our shrimp. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna finish cutting this shallot. And so your son is how old? He's seven. Perfect. And he eats a lot. <laughs> yes, I understand He's that. Ready, I have a seven-year-old too. Yep. You can go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And that's the sound we want. So this skillet has been set at kind of a moderate high temperature. We don't want it too high because we don't want to burn the shrimp. And now Tashi is just taking the shrimp and making sure there's an even layer of shrimp. Perfect. What I'm going to do, here's my egg. And what I've done so far is cracked four egg whites in here, two, egg, two whole eggs, and I'm going to crack two more. While you're cracking, do you want me to... You can put the shallots in there. That'd be great. Shallots. Yep. You put the shallots, shallots in there. In. I'm going to whip this a little bit more. Okay. All right. So once the shallots are in, we're going to add the spinach. And why you add spinach... And this is a pantry item I always... Not a pantry, it's a refrigerator item that right. I always have around. Well, that's... You're exactly right. When I think about pantry, I also think about freezer and refrigerator. Right. You know, because just like the ingredients that I was talking about, eight or nine ingredients, you can make so many different types of dishes, it's not even funny. Well, right, and so with the, the frittata, almost anything will go in it. Any kind, and any kind of cheese, or any kind of vegetables, and then even with pastas, I'll make spinach goes in that, and anything you have. Cool. Okay. All right. So now that that's in, basically what I'm going to do is add my egg to this. And if you want, you can add the tomato. I'm going to take the basil. I'm not even going to cut the basil. I'm just going to rip it and throw it in just like that. I heard it was bad luck to cut your basil. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> is that old? You're supposed to tear it. Is that an old? Okay. It is. Old wise so you, tale. So you didn't even know. That's why you have such good luck. There you go. Finish it with just a little bit of salt and some ancho. We need a little bit of heat. A little bit spicy. Oh, And of now course. you get to add the goat cheese. Yay. I'm just gonna crumble that in there. Crumble it in. This Drizzle is it all around. Beautiful. Yum. Mm, it smells good. It smells real good. Mm. Okay, so basically what, what we've done is added our spinach, our shrimp, everything. I just wanna move this to the sides to make sure it sets. And now this goes in the oven. And it roughly cooks for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how high your oven is set. Going in. And we have one in the oven, of course, that she is going to pull out for us. Perfect. All right. So you can bring that over here. Looks good. It's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. All I smell right now is goat cheese. Mm, and that shrimp. Yummy. All right, so look at that. Yum. Piping hot. Yum, yum. 
That's for me. This is good. Yes, ma'am. Can't wait. Ladies first. All right. Should I wait on you? No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I please. Am, I am from Alabama, but but this good cheese frittata looks too good to wait. It looks good. Okay. okay. Did you taste it? No, not yet. I'm okay. just talking. Mmm. Yum. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on today. It was a pleasure.